Hey everybody, it's Mikey Bags of Money. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have an incredible eBay story. This has never happened to me in all the time I've been selling. It's incredible. So we're gonna share that story. Plus, we're gonna share some what solds. And you know, I gotta take you about town. Maybe we'll go to the thrift store. Maybe we'll go drop some off. You never know what's gonna happen on a Mikey Bags video, cause I like to mix it up. Let's get the day started. Hit the subscribe button and let's have a good time. My first item up is this Hello Kitty inflatable. We bought it for $9.99. I actually bought it while I was live thrifting on a Friday night and it sold for $49.99 plus some shipping. Cha-ching! So we're gonna ship that out. Hello Kitty, friends. I love selling the kitty. I pick up so many Hello Kitty things because so many people love Hello Kitty. All right, I picked this one up in a video too. It's a Ren Spooner times a uh, Dietrich somebody. So this shirt was pretty cool. Actually, I sold a few Hawaiian shirts this week and I sold one on Macari and I haven't listed on Macari in over a year, but I never took down my listings. And once in a while, one sells. So that's pretty sweet. That was a good sale also, I'll share that. But this Ren Spooner right here, awesome design. I got 40 bucks for it. I'm very pleased. I bought it for about six. So that's great profit. I'm happy to see it. I, I love Hawaiian shirts, but I don't pick up any Hawaiian shirt. It's gotta be very special or a good brand. And even if it's a good brand, it's still gotta be special. Ooh, that Ren Spooner's also going to Hawaii. That always tickles my fancy when the Hawaiian shirts go back to Hawaii. Aloha from the Ninth Island. I can't wait to ship that over to you. $16.99 going out for these Dickie shorts, new with tags. Now Dickies workwear, people need that kind of stuff. New with tags, I like picking it up because it's new with tags. So Dickies going off to someone who works or someone who doesn't, but someone who's got enough to buy my $16.99 plus shipping Dickie shorts. Okay, coming in next, we have a vintage Paradise Found Magnum PI purple parrot shirt. Now these shirts are pretty popular. Sold for only 40 on Poshmark. I'll take it happily. I have two of them and one of them I found at the, on the, at the rack at Goodwill and the other one I found when I went to Ojai Ventura on a whole wedding vacation. I have a whole playlist you can check out of those adventures. Great finds, great times, good people. It was a really enjoyable experience and I was glad to bring you along and I get to watch it back and relive my vacation. So win-win. Also, this one's a win. It's going off on Poshmark, friends. If you haven't checked out my Poshmark video, I got a reason why you should start on Poshmark if you haven't started selling. Pros and cons, so check out the Poshmark video. Also, friends, I got over 300 videos. I have so many videos. I've been doing this about two years now. And after year one, I did a time of reflection. And after two years, I'm definitely gonna do another video. Which way to go? Do I continue? Because I mean, YouTube's a lot of work for not a lot of money. The rewards are different than money until you can get tons and tons of views. I'm working very hard to get there. But in the meantime, I have bills to pay. So like I said, I'm gonna have a video. I I'm at a crossroads really. And just trying to decide what to do between my health and my wealth both are dipping so i gotta i gotta change that up i gotta get on the upward trend this channel is mikey bags of money we gotta start making bags of money friends i've been doing two years and my youtube's definitely grown my ebay hasn't grown it's actually shrunk because of health and time so i might be getting into something else you'll just have to watch my videos to find out it's coming very very soon i can promise you that all right up next we got a hot dog hot dog it's a uh... Staying posh. It's another Poshmark order. Dana Buchanan dress. I don't normally buy these things to flip online. I'm not sure if it was Super Quartz donation, bulk buy. Made a few dollars. It all adds up at the end of the year. Sending out the posh love. This next sale is Macari, friends. Before I started YouTubing, I cross posted to a lot more sites and something had to give because I got a lot of hours. I do editing, filming, and all that other stuff. So, I really only cross post to Poshmark and some things to Facebook for the heavier items, but mostly Poshmark and eBay I go on. But I still have my listings on Macari. I've never taken them off or anything because once in a while, randomly things sell and luckily I still have them. So this one right here is a Ren Spooner Hawaiian shirt and I was selling these a long time ago and then I decided I'm keeping them all for myself. I'm going to hoard them. I'm going to try to do a 25 days of Christmas with all Hawaiian shirts. And I've been looking for more at great deals, but they're hard to find. These things are kind of pricey. They're in demand. They're special. When I saw the offer of $61 for my shirt, I was like, I don't know. I didn't even, I took these down from eBay and Poshmark. You can't buy these from Mikey Bags of Money, except on Macari where I forgot to take them off. So I decided 
friends, I could use 50 bucks a lot more than I can use this shirt sitting there. So I decided to accept the offer. Someone's going to be so stoked to have it. I'm a little sad it's going, I got to admit, but you can't keep everything. And maybe this year I'll find two more Ren Spooner Christmas on the cheap. So yeah, we're going to ship it off. And speaking of shipping stuff off, friends, back to what really happened with the package that was stolen. How did it get stolen? How did it happen? What's going to happen? We'll get into it. And I forgot the best news. Macari has four by six printing labels, friends. I have a thermal printer. Shout out Rolo. I don't have an affiliate link, but some people I know might. So if you want to go check out the Rolo, go check out there. Or I do have it in my Amazon link. I get pennies. Pennies, but I take them all day. I'm turning pennies into dollars. That's what this YouTube life is about, friends. Pennies into dollars. And maybe more if I'm lucky. Yeah, four by six labels. Game changer. It's been a long time. You used to, I used to have to like copy it, crop it, do like four steps to print the label. It was a PIA. I'm so happy about four by six labels. I might start listing on there more again. Lots of people have success. I had pretty good success with Macari. It was almost even with Poshmark back in the day. But I'm just doing the posh because I'm a posh boss. I like poshing. Poshing's easy. Poshing's fun. All right, up next, we got a Croft and Barrow. Croft and Barrow? I Croft and Barrow? I don't know, friends. I don't buy this brand, but it was a donation. Thank you so much. We listed it. It sold. Gas money. Gas, it doesn't bring as much gas money as it used to, friends. But another sale. I think like 12 or 13 bucks. It's going out the door. I am pleased. The customer will be pleased. All right, another sale I have is this GSI camping gear. It's not even that good, friends, but it was only a couple dollars. I'm only selling it for a couple dollars more, but someone's gonna be happy. Hiking, outdoor stuff, you guys know I love it. So I really like the high-end stuff of this. This might even be an Amazon brand. I'm not even exactly sure, but they do sell. I made a couple bucks and yeah, gotta keep the store rolling. Okay, so I shipped all that stuff out and honestly, I pooped out. I had big plans to go out later that day, yesterday, and I was just too tired. I worked a lot in the morning. I packed all that stuff, maybe around noon or one, and I had to set it down for the rest of the day. Very unfortunate. I did go for a walk in the evening, which was nice, but just don't have the energy that I once did. And I'm still trying to manage my pain. Um, my next video will go into more details about that. But I just did get back from picking up some medicine and I'm gonna head into Goodwill. But let's get into the details of the robbery, friends. So a guy contacted me and said, I haven't received my package. It had been about two weeks since he was expected to deliver it. So whenever I get those first, I'm like, I don't know. Am I getting scammed is always the first question. Am I getting scammed? So I went to check the tracking and he was correct. It should have been there two weeks ago. It showed out for delivery and nothing else. Sometimes the postman forgets to scan it at that point and I've, it's been successful. Unscanned, but they still get it. And it's kind of up to their honesty really at that point because you, if you get it and it shows unscanned, a scammer would scam. Scammer scam, that's what they do. So um, I totally believed him. So I sent an inquiry into the post office and a day later, caller ID came up, US post office. I was like, oh, I'm gonna answer this one. So what she said was my package was involved in a robbery. The postman was robbed. I was like, what, he was robbed? She was like, he was robbed. I was like, no way. She said, way. And I was like, what do I do? And she's like, you gotta call this number with a claim to get a claim. And I was like, what? Am I gonna get my money back? And she's like, he got robbed. I was like, he got robbed? She's like, yep. Yeah. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna get my money back. I'm gonna call later today to see what the dealie was. It was first class, it, it wasn't a lot. I didn't pay much for it. So I mean, in the long scheme of things, I might be out 10 bucks or something like that. I, I'm not tripping, that's the cost of doing business. Sometimes I always equate it to if I ran a brick and mortar, that stuff's gonna get stolen out of there. So sometimes nothing gets stolen except for this time. Sometimes just transactions go bad. Stuff does get lost in the mail. It's all part of doing business. It's a very, very low percentage. This is the first time this has ever happened to me. I was like, what city is this in? It must be kind of sketchy. So I'll let you guess for a second. It's in California, Southern, in the city of Montebello, friends. And I've heard of Montebello, but I didn't know Montebello. So I was like, let me go check out the Montebello crime rates. It's bad, twice the national average. It's not the worst place in the world, but it's it's not anywhere close to the best. So if you live in Montebello and you're a postman, thank you for doing your job and thank you to all the post people out there. 
they're risking themselves in many ways. It might not be a huge risk, but it's still a risk. They're out on the roads. You got crazy people robbing post packages, post office people. I, I hope they have stole a bicycle too so they can use the cycling jersey. So think about those Pony Express riders back in the day. I'm sure they were getting robbed and much worse back in the day. Maybe steal some good important information. I don't know, friends. So I got robbed. I got robbed and so did my customer and I'm the one suffering. So I'm gonna call them later. I'm gonna go inside to Goodwill right now. I'm gonna go just check out. Like I said, I had to go get some meds. So if you're in the neighborhood, you gotta stop by the thrift store. So we're gonna go see what we can find and bring you along. Let's roll. These carts are a pain in the butt with my hands are hurting. Today my right hand really hurts, friends. So I'm doing the best I can. Doing the best. Hi, right, friends. We already got the Halloween decorations out. This thing's pretty cool. 35 bones, though. These things aren't as cheap as they used to be. Goodwill has gone mainstream. In the Halloween costume decoration area, sometimes you can find some really good old vintage stuff, so, uh, like jerseys I've seen, all kinds of stuff they think is a costume that's really a desirable product. So I will check it out during the season, usually the clothes. I'm not into a bunch of de decorating and stuff like that. We used to be maybe in our younger days, but now we like to relax. So they even have shoes over here. Shoes in the Halloween section, friends. That is not ideal, I don't think. Ooh, that's a whole new rack of other shoes out, friends. So let's go check them out. They also got some red tags out. Looks like green is the new color tag of the week. If you're in a hurry, just look at the green tags. I've been here for weeks and weeks. I already know but I've looked at probably 75% of the other tags because I'm always in here. Let's move this card out of the way. All right, we've got some Nike slides here. That looks like be about my size. I'm a big size 14. It's kind of worn down there. I also saw some interesting pairs right here. Oh, look at this. These things are some hippie kickers right here. You got to have a free spirit to wear these. I got the free spirit. It's Gobi. And I looked them up. They had like a 25% sell-through rate. They're super cool, but 13 bucks. It's just too much to invest for me. I, I like them though. Pretty cool. Let's see, are these some fancy kickers that I just don't even recognize what they are? They're heavy. All right, taking a look through the shirts, friends. I got to buy a bunch of new shirts because I'm down like 50 pounds now. 50 pounds from the beginning of the year. Now, even this shirt's getting too big. A lot of my shirts are really like flopping all the way over. I've listed a lot of them on my eBay store. Some good 2X, a big 2X. Some Pele Pele, some Tommy Bahama. So those are on my eBay store if you want to check them out. The Charm Del V, the link is in the description of the video or in my YouTube channel description. So thank you for all the support. If you've ever bought from there, I really appreciate it. Some of you leave messages and let me know. Mikey, thank you so much. And really thank all of you. So without everybody, I won't even be here today for sure lots of shirts going on i haven't found many good shirts but i've lost a lot of weight so i gotta find a whole new collection that only pleases me so i can shop in the xl now maybe even the large pretty soon i also have some really good bangers that have been too small for me that i've just been holding on ice it's getting cold friends because they're coming out soon and then i'm gonna bring the heat Ooh, right here friends tevas can be really good they're only six dollars which is a deal but they kind of just look a little banged up and dirty for me so i think we're gonna pass they have a decent sell-through rate over 50 percent but i'm just looking for better condition yeah i'm gonna skip them oh look at these right here too phoenix suns one of the steve nash is this this thing is these are awesome they're kind of like clown shoe-ish i think city throwbacks i never heard of them they feel really cheap too but i'd bag this for a second if i was a phoenix fan <laughs> see if they got any good bags or backpacks I've listed some of my backpacks i'm hoarding also oh, i thought that said marlboro it's manaro <laughs> got me all right oh well, i'm gonna get framed for that that job back there too All right, can we score in the electronics today? I'm here a little earlier than I like to be usually. And... Hey, Mike. How you doing? Good, how about you? Yeah, hanging in, hanging in. Living the dream. Ooh, 
black and deck laser level this might be worth something let's check they got it priced at nine dollars we're gonna fire up the old ebay app we're gonna scan the barcode it's the easiest way to check on things that have barcodes here we go No, nope, only worth 20 bucks, friends. $20. That's a shame. Oh, and did you see the video where I was a hero and I got the titanium portal of power to my nephews? They were so stoked. They tested it out first thing and boom, bang, it worked. We celebrated. High fives all around. Love finding things at the store that I can share with other people. All right, stopping by the holiday section, friends. This thing's kind of cute right here. I don't know what it is, some kind of salt and pepper shaker, but it's not for me, but super cute. Don't forget to check low and check high, friends. Oh, look at this piggy right here. Oh, it's filled with rocks. No go. Let's look at this basket. Is this thing going to be worth the fortune that I'm passing up? An elephant wicker basket for sure, friends. Oh, look at that. Ooh, all right, we're going to call the post office, and I'm definitely picking up my Macari game again. I decided to start cross-posting there more, looked at the stats, so we're definitely back in Macari. I use List Perfectly. It makes it simple. It makes it easy. Code down below. And, yeah, I'm just trying to make more money faster. I got over 800 listings on eBay. The eBay sales have been slow. Some of those things have been on there a long time. They're not the great hot sellers. My hot sellers, they're already sold again and again. So I gotta continue to find good stuff. Yard sale season's coming up. I'm gonna do the best I can. The mornings aren't the best for me. So we're gonna see how that goes, but I'm gonna definitely get out there, find some deals, bring you all along because that's why I enjoy doing. I just like meeting people, talking to people, the work, the money, that's all second, friends. It's it's all about the experience. I just watched a movie on Netflix, and I think it was about the people living to 100. They have blue zones where people were healthy, they lived a long time, they had a lot of good exercise, good community, good eating habits, and they didn't sit in chairs all day long. I've definitely been sitting in a chair way more hours than I ever have in my life. Except for when I had some office jobs, I, I've always been working on my feet and staying active. And the people in these countries, they don't even go to the gym, really. They just exercise all day. They walk places, they lift things, they sit on the floor or low stoops that really get your core going. Oh, yeah. So... I'm just soaking in some knowledge. I love these documentaries on Netflix that teach me stuff. Supersize Me, The Secret. Um, there was some other food one that really changed it up for us big time. I'm a, I'm a thinker and a, a wanderer. Wanderer and a wanderer. And yeah, I'm just trying to make myself healthy. Try to live that blue zone lifestyle and yeah just do the best i can that's all we're trying to do friends the best we can with what we got it's everybody struggles life's not easy so yeah let's see if we can get our, our 20 bucks back and don't forget to check out my next episode also because it's really going to be good i'm going to be deep diving into myself my health all right so we're calling out the post office we're going to give them our package information postal inspection service thank you for calling the united states postal service this is going to take a while i think let me look up this number and I'll be right back. The delivery status of your item has not been updated as of August. I see there's already a case for this item. With case number, your inquiry was investigated and has been resolved. Do you have any other questions related to this case? Yes. Say yes. Please stay on the line while I check the availability of our agents. We all know how that goes. Thank you for calling. All of our representatives are assisting other callers. Rather than wait on hold, we can call you back when it's your turn between 15 and 22 minutes from now. You will not lose your place in line if you choose to use this service. To receive a call back, press 1. For this is Mike. Hello. This is the call back that was requested. Awesome. Thank you. Um, 
basically I put in a loss tracking or a, a track the package request online and I got a call back from the post office and they said my package was stolen from the mailman and they told me to call this number. No, no, no. The mailman was robbed. I filled out the form online. Then they called me back and said the postman was robbed in Montebello. So I was like, do I get a refund? What what happens? And she pretty much just told me to call this number. For sure, the, I felt bad for the postman. And then just think about all of them out there fighting the traffic, the criminals and everything else, man. I've been selling like on eBay for five years. And it's the first time I've ever heard that happen myself. Okay, yeah, I'll totally hold so you can research it and I'll be here. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, so now we're on a two to three minute hold. She wants to make sure she's doing the right thing because it's the first time. I don't think the postman gets robbed often. And what do you do with all the packages that are missing? We're going to find out. And it was only $20. It wasn't insured or anything. So, I don't know. Is there insurance from the post office when your thing doesn't get delivered? I mean, I gave it to them. They know what happened to it, and they didn't get the job done. So, two to three minutes to hold. I've been five minutes already on the phone call. Yep, I'm here. Okay, so 60 days to file an insurance claim through the website? Okay. Uh, well, thank you for the information. You too. Thanks for the help again. Bye-bye. All right, well, got to file the insurance claim. Got 60 days. Some of the time's already ticked, so I'm going to do, go do that. Upload this video. And next episode, we're going to talk more about my medical stuff. Uh, highs and lows, friends. I try to bring you the very best of Mikey Bags. That's how I do it. I bring you the best. I bring you the positivity. I don't like to dwell on the negativity. I've had plenty of things to be negative about but i keep the good spirits because good spirits bring good things thank you so much for coming along i appreciate all of you that's going to be another one in the bag my next video is going to be a great one so i can't wait to see you then we out